What gauge speaker wire should you use? In this video, I'm teaching you how to answer that question for yourself. By the end, you'll understand what wire gauge is, the benefits of choosing lower gauge speaker wire, and you'll be able to decide if spending more is worth it for your particular system. But if you're new to this channel, my name is Kyle. You can learn audio production online by checking out the weekly videos I post on this channel. To learn more, check out the website at audiouniversityonline.com. Each output of your amplifier has a positive and negative terminal. Using two wires, you can connect a speaker to the amplifier. Connecting the positive terminal on the amplifier to the positive terminal on the speaker and the negative terminal on the speaker back to the negative terminal on the amplifier. This will form an electrical circuit so that the amplifier can motivate the speaker with enough power to generate sound waves throughout the space. The thickness of a wire is represented by its gauge, referring to the American Wire Gauge System, or AWG. It's a bit counterintuitive, but a thicker wire will have a lower gauge number and the thinner wire will have a higher gauge number. The most common speaker wire gauges are 12, 14, 16, and 18 gauge. The thickness of speaker wire you choose is important because it will affect the overall resistance of the speaker circuit, and therefore it will affect the power transfer between the amplifier and the speaker. The resistance of a wire varies depending on its length and its thickness. A longer, thinner wire will have higher resistance than a shorter, thicker wire of the same composition. Ideally, the speaker wire would be as low resistance as possible. For getting the best possible energy transfer, 12 gauge speaker wire is the preferred option compared to 18 gauge speaker wire from a technical standpoint. But practically speaking, how significant is this difference? How do you know which speaker wire gauge you need? Whether you're designing a 5.1 surround system, a paging system for a building, or any other sound system, you'll need to first determine the distance between the amplifier and each of those speakers. Make sure to trace along the walls to keep the cable nicely dressed in and account for an extra four to six feet on either side. You'll be glad you left yourself that little bit of slack. Once you've determined the length of the wire, it's time to choose the wire gauge. Remember, the lower the gauge number, the thicker the wire. For most 8 ohm speaker runs that are less than 50 feet, 16 gauge is a great option. And if you're on a budget, 18 gauge will do just fine. If your run is beyond about 75 feet, it's worth considering 14 gauge or 12 gauge. I've created a speaker wire gauge chart that will help you to determine which speaker wire you need based on the cable length and the impedance of the speakers you're using. You can find that chart at audiouniversityonline.com slash speakerwire. I definitely recommend checking out that post if you're interested in going a bit deeper in this subject. If you got value out of this video, hit the like button and check out one of these other videos coming up. For more content like this, subscribe to Audio University.